Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and this is part two of the ear modeling tutorial series. So last time we left, we had made this part here. So let's just continue on that. So I'm going to move out a little bit. Let's see. Let's go ahead and position these just a little bit better along the contours of the ear so that it follows it nicely. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and make some faces. Select these four. F. Select these four. F. Create a new edge loop here, and we needed that one anyway because we needed to position this one a bit more rounder. That's a word, rounder. I don't know. <laughs> and select these four. Okay, F. Okay, so now that we have that there. Let's go ahead and just make this a little bit. Let's go ahead and add just one more extrusion here. Okay. Scale it, move it, no, whatever you need to do. So let's press A to select all. Let's move this over with our middle mouse button. And let's select it and let's select face select. Now let's deselect this whole thing here in the middle. Except for the earlobe part. Okay, so just this part here. So now that I have this, uh, actually, so that I can rotate better, I'm just going to go ahead and go to Edit Methods or Viewing Controls. Yeah, Around Selection, View Rotation, Around Selection. So anything that we select, it rotates around. So let's go ahead and extrude this just a little bit. Okay, alrighty. So now that we have that, let's go back into Vertex Select Mode. All right, and now let's go ahead and let's see what we can do okay so let's go ahead and start merging some stuff here let's go ahead and merge these two vertices together uh, not at center we want to select this one first and then that one and then select merge at last selected same here with this back two Alt M at last okay let's position these just a little bit better these in for that bevel effect okay so now that we have that let's see I'm gonna do the same for these here select these two alt M at last select these two back here alt M at last select this here and let's just position that better mm-hmm position all these better. Okay, let's actually let's merge this one too. Just move this bottom one in here so that okay that's better. Okay now let's see here. Let's go ahead and add some faces. So let's add some faces back here. So here's one, two, three, four, F. Don't worry about this triangle here. It's not a big deal. I know they say triangles are forbidden, but you know. It's not that big of a deal. Just got that face there. Um, okay. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and make this part here. Actually, no, forget that. Sorry. Let's go ahead and select this face here. Press X and delete that face. Go back to vertex select mode. And let's go ahead and make a face back here. F. No, wait, these two. Yes, okay. So now let's make some triangles again. And it's not that big of a deal if you make triangles here. So just make triangles over here and over here. And the reason you don't want triangles normally in your meshes is because they will not, um, they won't deform right. But, um, you know, ears rarely deform. You rarely animate them. 
So, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Alright, let's go ahead and just slide this over here. Oops, wrong button. Let's just move this in just a tad bit. So let's go ahead and connect it like with this part here. So much time we have left, okay. So let's go ahead and select this face here. There's three on side view. Extrude it, let me zoom out a little bit. Wireframe mode. Rotate move over a little bit. Just make sure you follow the pattern of the ear. Uh, it's fine. So go ahead and select this face here. Then you press F. Skin faces and average loops, and it does that. Then press Control N here. Yeah, and for some reason when that happens, it sets it smooth. So just go to object mode, set solid. Okay, so now let's go into the rear view here, and let's select these back faces here. Press X, delete faces. Alright, so let's go ahead and go into vertex select mode. Select all of these here and press 3. Extrude in. Press E to extrude. Wait, did I press E? No, I did not. Okay, E to extrude. This is going a little too slow for my taste. I'm just gonna. We haven't need. Well, actually, we're gonna need that in a minute, so just zoom out. So E to extrude the edges. Scale it down with S to about mm, there. Move it. Oops. Move it up. Move it in over here. Okay. Pretty good. And extrude. Bring in here. Scale it down. And position it over here. Okay, all this isn't necessary, but I don't like it when people can look into the ear and see that it's empty, so I just like to be safe. Okay then, so let's go ahead and just patch up this last bit here, see how much time we have left. Okay, we'll probably be able to wrap this up in one or two more parts. So like th this face here, back here, press F, select this here, press F, and select this here. F. We can get rid of these face, these triangles though. So select this triangle and this face. Press Control E to bring up the edge specials, and rotate. E select rotate edge twice. So now we have these two triangles right next to each other. So select both of them and press F, and it creates the face. All right. So let's press three here. Press tab to get out of object mode. Let's go ahead and see how it's looking in subsurf. Set smooth. Okay, let me get rid of this grid. Honestly, I honestly to be personal, I don't really like the grid too much. It just gets in the way. So this actually looks pretty good. Um Yeah. Let's leave it here. So I'm not gonna save it because sometimes my recording system crashes and I have to redo the tutorial so I just don't want to save it so you guys should save it right here though alright so next part uh, we'll be adding some more detail to this and in the part after that we'll be refining it smoothing things out and we'll be done so we'll probably be done by the fourth part okay guys so thanks for watching and be sure to watch the next one okay thanks